Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. Today we're talking about all the food that I eat during a day. Now thinking of 2020, where everything changed, I was working remote for most of the time. And working remote completely changed my diet. Before, I was eating a breakfast, a lunch and a dinner. But while I was working remote, I switched completely to a breakfast and a lunch together and then a full dinner. I would eat the breakfast and a lunch at about 12 and then I would have the dinner at about 6 or 7 p.m. With that said, let's jump straight into the breakfast and the lunch. I do believe that the first meal is the most important one for the day and I try to eat my breakfast and the lunch on the healthier side. So 90% of the time what I have is a Greek salad, two boiled eggs, dal and then some coffee. Now let's break it down. My Greek salad is very simple. What I usually put is tomatoes, cucumbers, pickled onions, olive oil and salt and sometimes avocado and sometimes feta cheese. Moving on to the eggs, I don't like the eggs to be super well done and I don't like them to be runny. So what I usually do to have that perfect medium cook, after they start boiling, I put a five minute timer and then as soon as that five minute timer is done, the eggs are perfectly cooked. And then for the drink, which is dal, if you're an Albanian, you should definitely know, but for all my non-Albanian friends, dal is a drink you make out of water, yogurt and salt. And it's one of my favorite drinks. If you're having burek next time, you should try to have it with burek because it's the most perfect combination ever. And right after breakfast and lunch, I'm gonna have my coffee. And for my coffee, I usually have espresso. I do like to have my coffee after breakfast and lunch because I cannot have coffee in an empty stomach. If I have coffee in an empty stomach, my whole day is gonna go wrong. That's pretty much what I have 90% of the time for breakfast and lunch. Now there is that 10% when I'm not lazy and I try to cook more. And usually during those times when I'm not lazy, I try to have one of my most favorite Albanian food, which is trahana. And to make trahana requires a little bit of more effort. Trahana is pretty much a dish that you make out of dried yogurt, and then you combine it with hot water so that it makes this sauce, and then you put this into the bread. It's a very delicious dish, but requires a little bit more effort, so I don't usually put that much effort into my lunch or breakfast. Now that's pretty much the breakfast and the lunch, let's move over to the dinner now, which is a little bit more complex. As I mentioned it before, the dinner is slightly more complex. So what I usually do is that I separate all the ingredients into three main categories. So we have a protein, a veggie and a carb. After this separation, I try to combine two categories together. So sometimes I can have a protein and a carb, Sometimes I can have a veggie and a carb, and sometimes I can have a protein and a veggie. Now let's break down each of the categories one by one. Starting with the protein, I have four different meats. So I have chicken, I have red meat, I have shrimp, and then salmon. I do buy all the protein at the beginning of the month, and then store them in the freezer for up to three to four weeks. Now moving on to the veggies, I usually buy mushrooms, peppers, broccoli, eggplant, and... and zucchini. And then for the carbs, it's always three things. It's potatoes, pasta and rice. Now, as you can tell, sometimes I can have chicken with potatoes, sometimes I can have beef with zucchinis, and sometimes I can have pasta with mushrooms, depending on the day. There's also some special nights where I'm super hungry and I combine all these three categories together, but that usually doesn't happen very often because the meal becomes more and more heavier on the calories. Now, if I'm on the mood, I try to have some dessert sometimes, but that usually doesn't happen very often because of all the effort that you have to put to make the desserts. So that's pretty much what I eat in a day. I hope this video gave you a glimpse of what I eat. And if it did, don't forget to subscribe below and I'll see you on the next video.